In this video, I'll show you how to set up private internet access on your Google Chrome browser. So first thing we're going to need to do is open up Google Chrome and we're going to want to head over to the web store. On the web store, we're going to search for private internet access. And then you'll see the private internet access Google Chrome extension. If you click on that and then press add to Chrome and then add extension, it will install the extension on your Chrome browser. Once the extension has successfully installed, we're going to want to click the extensions tab and then you just want to open up private internet access. Now it's going to require a username and password and you would have got this username and password when you initially bought private internet access. If you haven't already got private internet access, then check out the links in the description and you can get over 82% off of your subscription and three months free. So I'm just going to log in with my username and password that was sent to my email address and then click the login button. Next, it just has some options. You can skip these. And then from here, you can use private internet access the same way you would on your computer or phone, but it will just apply to your Chrome browser. There's some great features that private internet access has on its browser extension. If you click the three dots in the top right and then go to extra features and then drop down the security menu, you can block WebRTC IP detection. So you can stop any IP leaks from happening by enabling this and you can force use HTTPS even though most websites nowadays use an SSL certificate. You can also open up the privacy tab and here you can block camera access, microphone access, location access. You can disable network prediction. You can disable safe browsing, disable credit card autofill, and disable address autofill. On the tracking section, you're able to disable third party cookies. You can disable the website referrer so it will no refer all the links that you click. It can disable hyperlink auditing. You can disable, uh, you can remove UTM para parameters, and then you can remove FBC LID parameters as well. Alongside that, the last feature is PIA Mace, which is basically just an overall ad blocker for the VPN. So it will block any ads from showing when you're connected to private internet access. If you want to change your location, it's the same as a desktop application. You just click this arrow here. And then on this page, you'll see all the different locations and countries that you can connect to. And they're sorted by ping. So the closer they are to you, the lower the ping. So in this case, the UK would have the lowest ping for me. And then it just ascends accordingly. And to enable the VPN, it's very simple. One button click here, which will connect. And now I'm connected. So my IP address has now changed to the VPN IP address. So that sums up my video on how to set up private internet access on Google Chrome. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.